We're talking with Dr. Stephen Langer. He is the author of Solve the Riddle of Illness, the fourth edition. And Dr. Langer, I couldn't help but notice that the the first sentence in chapter one is, Dr. Langer, I hate sex. What's that all about? <laughs> What's that all about? Is this a symptom of uh, low thyroid? Absolutely. Uh, people who have uh, are diagnosed or not diagnosed, with, more often than not, <laughs> have subclinical and are not diagnosed with low thyroid, have sluggish metabolisms, and as we've discussed in the past, are tired all the time. So the last thing on their mind is sex. I mean, they can't mm -hmm. concentrate every ounce of energy, every fiber of their being goes to just taking care of the, of the things that they have to to stay alive during the day, to getting their kids to school, to go out to work and, 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 and get through their work day. The last thing on their mind when they, you know, when they get home and they're, and they're bone tired right. and they're depressed because of all the stuff that's going on and frequently they're malnourished uh, is, is, you know, is, 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 is to be able to, to, uh, to, to engage in sexual activity and become passionate. The only thing they can become passionate about is diving into bed and, go, and closing their eyes and going to sleep. And a, a lot of, uh, a lot of the, uh, the relationships that I see are suffering as a result of, you know, of, of, of people not being able to optimally function during the day. I would imagine so. I mean, you, like you say, just the energy that would go into maintaining your everyday lifestyle, that would be all you can handle, just that. And, it, then and, it, and it actually goes further, and uh, we, we won't discuss it in this segment, but uh, when, a, when a person is, is tired and, it, and it is, has, has all of these symptoms we discussed because of, of a subclinical low thyroid, they're also not absorbing nutrients properly. So even if, even if they think that they can take vitamins and minerals and nutraceuticals, which is always better than not, and even eating mm -hmm. well, they're doing it, but they're not optimally assimilating what they're taking in. So they're not even getting the benefits of the, of the supplementation okay. and of the good food that they're eating. So I, I, that's just another layer of, of, of why they're tired and why they're not, uh, they're not responding. And it's, as, you know, as we discussed, I mean, again, the first thing to go is, is, is sexual activity. So the libido goes, well, that well, suffers. Libido like a mosquito is uh, what it's, we... It's, <laughs> it's gone. So they're too tired to be passionate and too tired to engage. They're not even passionate, they're just they're, 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 they're too tired to, you know, to engage in, in, in any kind of sexual activity other than to them. I mean, sex to somebody who's that, that bone tired is to go to sleep. And so someone would express that in the sentence that, Dr. I hate sex, when it's really not that. It's they really don't hate sex. I mean, it has nothing to do with hating sex. They, they hate the idea of, you know, and on, on, on the one hand, I mean, particularly the people that I see, most of whom are in married relationships, mm -hmm. hate the fact that they, they know that a, that a healthy sexual relationship is important for, you know, for, to, for a good married relationship. And they may have a spouse who is not, you know, tired all the time, who would like to engage in that mm -hmm. kind of, of closeness, and they can't, they can't be accommodating because they just don't have the energy to do it. That's why, that, that's why a lot of them, you know, feel that they, you know, that... Uh, that they hate sex. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, to be quite honest, I mean, that, that was a great way to draw people into the book. Well, it was. <laughs> it's very good. All right, well, thank you, Dr. Langer. We'll visit again. Thank you.